Hey everyone, welcome back to Biotechnica. Myself, Diksha, and today I'm gonna give you some insights about top five government labs to do internship in Hyderabad that is situated in Telangana. So here I shall be giving you some ideas about top five government labs in Hyderabad where you can go and pursue your internship course or dissertation course. So I shall be giving you insights about the eligibility, about the research areas, about the types of entry and the mode of entry as well. So stay tuned to the video till the end and here I will be giving you some top insights about the labs, government labs to do internship in Hyderabad, Telangana. So let's get started. And the first institution or the first lab that I have put so that you can go for internship in Hyderabad, Telangana is Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology, also known as CCMB Hyderabad. CCMB Hyderabad is located in Hyderabad as well. And the thing is that CCMB has a very good pioneer research in the field of cell biology, molecular biology, as well as biotechnology. So if you're interested in pathogen biology, microbiology, cell biology, and, microbiology, and molecular biology, you can go for CCMB Hyderabad. So the eligibility is that you should have MSc, BTEC, integrated MSc, MBBS, or BPharma degree on CoE. And the website of CCMB here I have mentioned, you can refer to this website for more details. The research areas that are available at CCMB Hyderabad is developmental biology, structural biology, cell and stem cell biology, genomics and epigenetic regulation, microbes and biology of infection. So these are the research areas that are available. Now comes what are the type of internship that are offered by them. So they offer MSc dissertation program, summer training program, as well as skill development program, STP in biological sciences. For details, you can go to the website. But the duration of this internship provided by them starts from two months till seven months. So the mode of entry is that you have to fill the online application form through the website. So the mode of entry is through the website. So better you go and visit the website and you see for vacancies and you can apply online there. So mostly this time the vacancies would be available. So you go and check for the training vacancies available at uh, CCMB Hyderabad. So this was about the first institution that I have referred. The second institution, again located in Hyderabad, good for your internship is Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Hyderabad campus. TIFR is a well-renowned name, we all know that. So TIFR Hyderabad it has the eligibility process that like um, allows the final year of BSc, pre-final year of BTEC and ongoing MSc students to pursue their internship or summer research program there. But the condition is that you should not have been selected before for the VSPR program, that is the visiting student research program you should not have been selected before if you are selected before you are not eligible to apply the website is here i have mentioned you can refer for the link to the website for the more details the research areas covered by tif for hyderabad is biological physical and mechanical mechanobiology biophysical chemistry molecular biophysics cell and cancer biology molecular genetics molecular immunology as well as cell signaling and molecular neurosciences the type of entry is summer research program and the second one is semester long visiting student research program. So this VSRP program is either summer research or semester long visiting student. That means you can go, you can have the like opportunity to go and get your internship in the project or the dissertation work in the final semester of your master's that you are doing. So the duration would start from two months to six months. So mostly summer research program will have two months duration and semester long program will have six months of duration depending upon the dissertation that you have opted in this specified lab. The mode of entry is four. You can go through Indian Academy of Science. You can like uh, write an SOP, gets get selected by Indian Academy of Science summer research program. Then you can have an opportunity to go to TIFR. You can have also the host institution association. So mostly for a semester long program, if the faculty is having an association with the host institution where you are currently pursuing your masters, there also you can have an opportunity opportunity to get uh, into those labs based on the conditions of the host institution and DIFR faculty mentioned.
The third mode of entry is TIFR VSRP, that is TIFR itself conducts the VSRP recruitment, uh, that is through the academic uh, accomplishment, SOP writing, referees, based on that VSRP stands for Visiting Scholars, uh, research, Students Research Program. And then you can also go through the KVPY Science Academics uh, Scholarship, if you are having the KYPY, KVPY Scholarship also, then you can also go. Now, the, but this is again the meritorious scholarship if you have scored uh, like a lot then only you, you will be eligible here so better you go for I, IAS or IMSA fellowship or your host institution or TFR BSRP because KVPI is only for the students who have been selected in that KVPI association now you can always email the PI also because sometimes the vacancy is available so if you have emailing the PI and if you are getting an opportunity to go into the lab definitely you should get that opportunity and you should go for the lab so you can also email the PI depending upon the vacancies that are available and the research interest that you want to go. Now, the third institution is CFCD, that is Center for DNA Fingerprinting and Diagnostics, a premier institute for molecular diagnostics in Hyderabad. It is again eligible. It is, is that you have to, you should have an BS or BTEC or MSc ongoing. The website here I have mentioned cfcd.org.in. The research areas available at CFCD Hyderabad is cell and molecular biology, computational biology, disease biology, genetics, molecular microbiology, as well as immunology. Now, we are coming to the type of internship that are being offered by the CFCD Hyderabad. So, it is offering summer training as well as the project work also. So, the duration would again range from two months to seven months and the mode of entry is that you should you can also go by INSA fellowship or you can also check for the online application through the website where there is an vacancy announcement or there is any recruitment of the interns through the online application form you can go for, through that channel also now we're done with the three institutions or the three labs three labs in Hyderabad now we are going to go to the next two labs that is the fourth and the fifth one so the fourth one you all guys would have known about this like would have known about this uh, lab also that is National Institute of Animal Biotechnology NIVE that is National Institute of Animal Biotechnology is an autonomous institution by DBT government of India so the eligibility to go into the internship here is that you should be having graduate post graduate final year degree in life sciences as well as medical sciences and the website I have mentioned here you can go to the website for more details. The research areas available are translational research, genetics and genomics, transgenic technology, reproductive biotechnology, infectious disease as well as bioinformatics. So if you want to work in the field of animal biotechnology, transgenics, especially reproductive biology, infectious disease as well as genetics related to transgenics, you can definitely go to NIPE that is National Institute of Animal Biotechnology. You will have a great exposure related to these, these dominant Especially the type of intake uh, that is done is MSc dissertation, short term as well as long term training program. Also, recently only they have advertised long term uh, training program for the students who want to get their research completed. So even if you have postgraduate, if you have completed postgraduate, you can go for long term training program. The duration is from three days to seven months. So they will have some certification course also. But the duration mostly ranges from two months to seven months. So it's better you go for long term uh, like. Uh, scholarship or long-term research programs so mostly you will not be getting any stipend but yeah this uh, <coughs> the fee structure is also uh, very less if you are getting any like uh, the programs of uh, any internship there and definitely it's a government institution you will be getting all the facilities and research benefits the mode of entry is again you can always go and visit the website and see for the vacancies mostly they will recruit through the online application form only but still if you have any concerns Concern related to research interest, you can email the PI and you can ask for the seat or availability if there is vacant. Then these are the two modes in the NIAB Hyderabad. Now, we are going to go to the fifth institution for the plant lovers, the students who want to go and do internship in the field of plant biotechnology, plant sciences, crop production, breeding, organic farming. So, Central Institute of Medicinal and Aromatic Plants, that is CMAP, is Deputy institution of CSIR yeah, that has built a lot of campus, Lucknow campus, Bangalore campus, Hyderabad campus. So you can go to this place also for pursuing your interest or research interest in the field of plant sciences. The eligibility here is again graduation or post-graduation students are eligible to apply. The website here is 
uh, cmapress.in you can go to the website so they have different campuses so might be some research areas or application process vary but mostly they will have a recruitment that is almost same at every cmap campus the research area at the cmap hyderabad is agronomy biotechnology crop production and protection plant breeding and genetics resource conservation as well as plant biology so you can go for these uh, research areas you can go for internship in these research areas and meet your research interests by working in the labs the type of intake is again short term long term so they will have like a lot of range of training programs available so definitely you can go and grab the opportunity the duration can range from 3 months to 12 months so the long term training programs are also available go get and check the website the mode of entry is visiting the website and the training section so mostly they will encourage the students to apply through the common universities or the institutional channel that is applying online through the official website of cmap so you are encouraged to apply through the official website of cmap but make sure if you want to go for hyderabad you select the hyderabad campus only so these were about the top 5 institutions top 5 labs basically for pursuing your research interest located in hyderabad telangana so if you want to work in hyderabad telangana if you want to meet your research interest situated uh, in the labs that are in hyderabad telangana gana and if you want to work in that order that you want to stay in hyderabad you want to work in association with the labs these are the top 5 labs these are the top 5 government labs funded government lab government labs that you can where you can go and pursue your research interest except that also you have very good institutions like iit hyderabad or university of hyderabad also where you can go but since i have been talking talking about government labs i shall be listing only the labs that are being autonomous and funded by dptc as i or dst so here i shall be giving i gave you insights about top 5 lab and i shall be always giving you that sort of like ideas related to internships related to each and every location that you prefer so do mention in the comment box below if anything you want and anything you want to know in any of the like places or the internship opportunities that you want to get more knowledge of thank you so much for watching this video